from Twitter Gaming. What's the game that best describes you? Destiny 2. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be worried if it was anything else, to be honest. Hello and welcome to Calvus. My name is Zen, and today we're going to be taking a look at r slash technically the truth, a subreddit dedicated to posts that have just information that is technically true, but it's not quite you what you're expecting. So let's just jump into it. These bullets collided in Gallipoli in 1916. The chances of this happening were one in a billion. Name something more unlikely to happen. Well, three bullets colliding. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's one in a billion, what would that be? One in a trillion? Like, what's the exponential for this? What's the math? Also, that's freaking badass. Look at that. Holy shit. Oh, that guy's about to get shot. Let me just shoot that bullet out of the air. Ho oh, ho. <laughs> that's some anime protagonist bullshit right there. Heavy breathing. Luke. I am Darth Vader. Yeah, that'd be pretty accurate. The only other acceptable answer for that is I am out of breath. Because why else are you heavy breathing? And if that's Yoda on the back of Luke when he's training, that's a bit weird. Yoda, what are you doing back there? Stop. Get off. Stop being backpack. Get down. I am uncomfortable with that heavy breathing when you're not doing anything. Oh, <laughs> Pakalu. Oh, I love this account. I'm not like other teenagers. I'm 51. He is actually very right. It's very rare to see a teenager that is 51. It's just a statistical anomaly. All I've got in my head now is just that freaking Steve Buscemi. Hello, fellow kids. Call me an ambulance. You're an ambulance. I'm pretty sure she's just sleeping. She's fine. She's sleeping. Everyone has their little quirks, you know? She just needed to be called an ambulance to fall asleep. Look at her. She's, she's resting peacefully. Very, very peacefully in public. Oh, hold, yeah, okay. Call an actual ambulance. People are finally listening. Crowds are getting smaller. Oh, oh, that's not where I was expecting this joke to go. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to touch this joke. I don't want to make short jokes. It's just a, it's just such a low hanging fruit. I, I don't No, Come on, let's move on. Now, you see, when they said you can have like small social gatherings, as long as you maintain social distancing, I'm not sure this is what they meant. If humans go extinct, literally no one will care. Yeah, this is actually true. This is genuinely true. It's also the same idea as if we were to kill off all children, future generations won't thank us. That logic is so scuffed. What the? F <laughs> okay. Please, could you go to the shop and get a carton of milk? If they have avocados, get six. They had avocados. Okay, you need to pass this information a little bit differently, okay? Don't take things genuinely literally. What if they wanted avocados? Hey, get, don't get... What if it's avocado milk? What if it's avocado milk? What would you have done then? Can you get avocado milk? Can you milk avocados? Do they have teats? Why am I thinking this like an animal? No, okay. <laughs> I'm still not awake. This is not okay. I don't know where I'll be when it happens, but when Weird Al dies, no one will see me for about a week. Same. Thanks, Al. Yeah, it'll be more than a week. It'll be longer than a week. Unless you're a lich. Are you a lich? If you're a lich, then I guess you could just keep making music in perpetuum. Is that something you would want? Like, un... <laughs> Weird Al music in perpetuum in undeath. Is this a thing that people want? Weird Al, is this something we can work towards? Would you be game for this? You know, people treat me like a god. How? They ignore my existence unless they need something. Relatable! Does that mean I'm a god as well? Am I god? A god? Any god? I guess we're all gods if you think about- No, no, no we're not. We're definitely not you, James. Prisoner who died and was brought back claims his life sentence has technically ended. He not wrong. He's not wrong. How? That? Is that a legal loophole? <laughs> Lawyer up, because this is a potential way to get out. Holy crap. Is this going to be a precedent? Do we need to actually make a law saying, hey, if you get a life sentence and die and get brought back to life, freedom? Does that mean that prison shankings are actually a way to get out? Hey, don't worry, bro. Don't worry, shank, shank, shank. I'm helping you get out, shank. Do you think the queen has ever sucked dick? Not sure about the whole band, but Freddie Mercury definitely did. Hmm. Philip, it's time for the royal dick sucking. Oh my God. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Don't want to think about it. <laughs> Freaking royal rib job. No, I'm done. I'm out. John Cena surprises seven-year-old boy with cancer on his birthday. What a terrible gift. Hey, hey, another person's disease is another person's treasure. Okay, maybe it's exactly what that child wanted. 
Maybe it's what they wished for. Who knows? We are not people to judge. Actually, we can. We're just going to do it very silently and very harshly. Did you know that if you put your ear up to a stranger's leg, you can hear them saying, what the frick are you doing? I can attest to this. Yep, I, I have done this. I have done this. Don't question me. I have done this to test this out. And I can say this message is 100% true. Uh, name this plant, please. George. I guess I got what I asked for. I asked the internet to name anything. And this is what you get. I'm surprised it wasn't Green McLeaf, son. I would have gone with Chlorophyllip. Plants. I'm a wave my genitals in the air. Humans. Mmm. Fragrant. I do love sniffing those plant genitals. Lovely, lovely smells. Except for when they start, you know, just spooging out. I do not like that pollen. My hay fever goes wild when I sniff that shit. This is Billy. Is he a circle? Oh, no. He's got a point. Uh, what? Yeah, he has. Oh, shit. Okay, I just got the joke. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. No, it's not, it's not really a circle because it does have a point. God, oh, <laughs> I just got that on the fly. Wow. <laughs> Malaysian TV show synopsises are something else. Dora the Explorer. Follow the adventures of Dora, possibly the most famous Spanish explorer since Christopher Columbus as she wanders about the jungles with a friend, a red booted wearing monkey named, wait for it, Boots. This seven-year-old girl who never ages throughout the show's 14-year run teaches kids Spanish, counting, and other valuable lessons, breaking the fourth wall more liberally than Deadpool while hurting less people than either Deadpool or Columbus. She also spends a lot of time trying to get Swiper, a bipedal anthropomorphic mask-thieving fox, to get off Tinder, telling them, Swiper no swiping, at least three times every episode. Sh <laughs> wow, that hits different. What? Did did the person writing this just be like, ah, I give up. I I'm going in. I got <laughs> I got an arts literature degree, and they want me to write a synopsis. Going, it's a kids' TV show. I'm going balls deep in this synopsis. This guy went for it. Although I'm not gonna lie, reading that synopsis makes me more want to watch Dora the Explorer. They did their job well. <laughs> when you realize that today is Mother's Day, surprise, mother, you'll see the full one on Father's Day. Yeah, oh, mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> Technically the truth, very much the truth. Something you do not want to hear in front of you. And that is the truth. Some alligators can grow up to 15 feet, but most only have four. Uh, excuse me, but most only have four. Okay, yeah, just... That's fair. That's fair. If I was in a discussion with someone like that, ooh, semantics, I'm going to say, I'm just going to make this argument really dumb. I would just walk away. I, if I had the power, <laughs> yeah, I'd, blow, I'd just blow it up. Just start over. How much, on a side note, how much TNT would you actually need to be able to explode the world? I'm actually curious. What is your name, sir? Peter, without F. But there's no F in Peter. That's what I said. All right. Glad we could have this chat, Peter without the F. Peter. Where would you even fit the F in Peter? Peter. Pefer. Pe Pefter. Pefter? Okay, yeah, just leave the F out, Peter. You got it right. List of books to read before you die. Number one, any book you want. Two, don't read books you don't want to read. Three, that's it. Four, congratulations, you did it. I really like this list. All of my favorite books are on it. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay. You know what? I actually haven't been reading an awful lot in the last several years, and I really want to get back into it. I, my favorite genres are like fantasy and sci-fi. If anyone has any good recommendations for like books to get into, uh, just pop them down. I'll read the comments for this one. I, I want to start listening to stuff. I might get Audible, actually, so I can just work and listen to books. Would you like a drink? What are my options? Yes or no? That's fair. That is fair. Would you like a drink? What? No, actually, no, that's not fair. Because <laughs> is it just water? Look, I see on that mobile bar, there is multiple different liquids, different containers with different things. What are my options, miss? Don't be a smart ass. We are 30,000 feet up in the air. I will not hesitate to flush you down that damn toilet if you get snarky with me. I want my orange liquid juice. And that is how you become a Karen. There's a masterclass. <laughs> Fire distinguisher. Yep, that's a fire. That's not helpful, sir, please. And this is why you should always read the label of what you're buying. Just because it looks like what you're trying to get doesn't mean it is the right thing. 
Like that one time I tried to get some sugar from that man on the street. That, oh, that sugar was amazing. Those cookies were so good. Also clean like the house twice over. Wait a minute. How I see the moon. Oh, that's a good. That's actually a really cool moon. Versus how I see the moon in a picture. Uh, yeah. The first one is also a picture. Okay. Yeah, I think we've discussed this before. It's all about the lenses and how like uh, the eyes have like higher resolution than your average camera phone and all this kind of stuff. There's a whole way of doing like um, night sky photography. But yeah, they are both pictures. What is your secret for always staying down to earth? Well, I mean, gravity. Thanks, Keanu. I did not know. Also, I think the Flat Earthers would like to have a word with you, considering gravity is not a thing. Uh-oh, did I just bring them here? I should probably stop now. <laughs> My wife is going into labor. What should I do? Uh, is this her first child? No, this is her husband. Thank you. I could not tell. Well, at least we got that cleared up. So now, what do we do? She's in labor. Things things are moving. We need to get to... What, what do I do? I am panicking. I am her husband, not her first child. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you liked the video, then consider dropping a like or even subscribing. And thank you to everyone that has been showing their support recently. It's been really, really fantastic. And it really does actually help the channel grow and keep us making videos for you daily. If you want to see some more Technically the Truth, well, there's technically going to be another one coming up in just a few seconds, and that is the truth. And on that note, my name has been Zen, and I hope to see you in the very next video. Have a lovely day.